In this video, I'm going to share with you five steps to effective visualization. Visualization is known as a powerful and effective mind workout that helps us stay focused and helps block out any distractions. You know, just like we can appreciate physical workout so that we keep our body strong and in peak performance, the same way it's important to keep our mind strong and that's through visualization. And that's gonna help the performance of our mind and helps us keep our minds sharp. In this video, you're gonna learn some techniques that will help you improve your visualization skills so that you can get closer to your dreams and goals. There are a few techniques that have worked for me and I'd love to share them with you. Visualization is defined as the formation of a mental image of something. It's actually the technique of using our imagination to create what we want in any area of our life. In fact, athletes use visualization in order to enhance their performance and imagine themselves winning and meeting their goals. And it helps them get there. So in fact, uh, Albert Einstein um, is known for saying that imagination is the preview to life's coming attractions. And so with that, um, I wanted to share with you what I learned from this book, actually. It's called Creative Visualization by Shakti Quain. And uh, you can purchase your copy of this book when you click on the link in the description box below. And so I wanted to share with you what those five steps are based on the book that I just read. First, set that goal. Set your goal, and it could be in any area of your life, whether it's in health, to improve your health, your finances, maybe you want to get out of debt. How about your relationships? Maybe you want to heal a relationship or maybe start a fresh new relationship. You know, there are many goals and dreams that we have that we maybe harbor or hide because we just don't think we can make it. Well, I'm giving you that permission to set that goal. Just sit down and maybe write, what are 10 goals that you can have, short-term or long-term goals? What is it that you want to be, do, and have? Dream away. They're your goals and there are no limitations. Second, you're gonna to want to focus on it often. By consistently focusing on what you wanna be, do, and have daily, it's really going to make it a possibility in your life, and it's gonna integrate it as part of your reality. And so that's gonna trigger the thoughts, ideas, and actions you're gonna to need to slowly and surely get you there. So for example, if you are wanting to uh, have a beautiful dream home and that dream home happens to have a nice, large, naturally lit kitchen with a large island in the center, well, that will maybe trigger some ideas of how you can maybe get a promotion in your job or maybe get a second position, a second job on the side um, that's going to help you with your finances. Um, it'll help trigger some ideas to get out of debt so that you can um, get that dream home or maybe book a real estate agent so you can start just looking around and see what's out there. Checking your credit score, getting all of your finances in order so that sets you up for success towards that dream home. You see, these are practical ways that visualiz visualization really helps you to trigger those ideas, thoughts, and actions that's really going to help you there. So you want to focus on this often, daily as possible. Third is give it positive energy. Now is the perfect time to work on those limiting beliefs. The problem with those is it creates a block on that road to success. So identify those limiting beliefs by seeing how you feel or what triggers those. For example, using that previous illustration on the dream home, let's say you know that to get that dream home, you're gonna to want to have a bump up in your salary and that promotion is gonna help you get there. Well, a limiting belief could be, oh, you know, I'm not gonna get there. I don't have all the skills. I may have, maybe they're looking for 10 and you've got like six of them. Well, I only have six of the things they're looking for and look, that job description has 10. 
There's no way. Well, there it is. There's that limiting belief. And guess what? That is going to make you not apply for that position and not have that conversation with your manager or coworkers or that hiring manager and stop you and hinder you from taking those actions uh, that's going to help you get there. Okay, so it's going to create seeds of doubt. Remove and pull those seeds of doubt before they begin to flourish. So remove those limiting beliefs because you want to have that faith that it's going to take to get you to get through those challenges and blockers. Now, the truth is that we all have limiting beliefs and it's really hard to get through them. I'll give you one tip that has worked for me is when I uh, feel like something is uh, really a stretch for me and I don't feel like I have what it takes to get there, what I do is I notice that thought and I say, okay, I can doubt later, okay? But right now, I'm gonna believe it's possible, okay? So if it's like 12 noon, I'll say, okay, you know what? I can doubt at five o'clock. I'm not saying that I can't doubt, because it's kind of hard. Sometimes you wanna wallow in doubt, and so I get that. And that negativity has its place to be able to uh, serve as um, that hunting that you need to generate ideas. So sometimes uh, there is a use for, for that because it's going to help you maybe get creative um, and look at things differently, in different perspectives. So it does have its place, but put it in its place, right? And so if you start feeling senses, sensations of doubt, worry, or you feel like you're not good enough, then be aware of those thoughts and say, okay, I'm going to doubt later at this time and have a time block of maybe 15 minutes. That's my time for doubt. But right now, I'm gonna think of what's possible, okay? I'm gonna think of it as a possibility for the rest of the day. And I'll tell you, that really works. Um, because when five o'clock rolls around, chances are you're still so positive that you don't want to go back to doubt. You do not want to go back to, about, to doubt. You want to stay focused on staying positive, on thinking of what's possible for you and remaining in faith. The fourth is using tools like vision boards or mind movies. And these tools are essentially visual representations of your goals. And they could be in a poster where you clip off um, some magazine photos or you print out some pictures that you've got online and then you glue them or pin them on a poster board or you can have them um, digitally on your cell phone um, and then you can have music behind it and there's a lot of uh, fun apps that you can use that you play and um, that's what a mind movie essentially is. So the nice thing about this is that you can actually see them every day and it's gonna trigger um, a lot of excite, exciting feelings and emotions um, that'll encourage you throughout the day to be able to stay focused on your goals. The fifth and most important step is creating a clear picture and a vision for what it is that you want. So important that the Book of Wisdom actually says that where there is no vision, the people perish. So where there's no vision, the people perish. So it's important to have something to strive for and hope for and believe in for, to keep us fresh and going and, and really motivated uh, to move forward in our life. And so when we see it clearly in our mind's eye, really feeling it with intense emotions and experiencing it in the now as if we have it, then these things were, are really gonna stir us into action and that's going to bring that possibility into reality because we're gonna do whatever it takes um, in good sense to be able to get there. And so we're going to need our imagination to think up of the possibility that there is for us in our life and it's also going to take faith. So in conclusion, visualization is really going to help us to achieve our dreams and goals. 
Click on the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe so you're notified on new videos on personal development, leadership, and so much more. And also, I've created a goal setting masterclass that's gonna help you to set and achieve your goals. Click on the link on the description box below for more details.